One of the highly requested questions in chat is how do I rank up from Platinum to GM? How do I rank up from Silver to GM? How do I win more games? My teammates are growing. Um, what do I play in this scenario? And other questions like that. What I want to do is I want to start a series by doing unranked to GM and I'm going to do it very slowly. I'm going to make a decision making. I'm going to explain everything I do on a certain hero in every game. ML7? No, no, it's not me. Can you play Hog Ana sure, or you want to play Ana? I can play Hog as well. Okay, okay, let's go Hog, go Hog, go Hog. Thank you. They have a ball, he's close left side. Fuck, I got discovered. Wait, you sound a lot like fucking ML7. I have a voice changer. Yeah, I think... No, he... he... he Kill the ball behind, ball behind, ball low, ball low, low, low. Always, when you see somebody out of position, always do aggressive calls. Divalo, 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 Divalo. Trying to move in front, like, see how much pressure we have. Oops, that was, uh, was way too deep. Wake up, one. Usually in lower ratings, you want to use the ult more for yourself than for your team. I remain out of ammo. Good job. So much more, we're probably going to try to retouch. No? Okay. Just wait for the ball to come in. We hook the ball and easy. I think there's Mercy on the left side. So no, she's, she's over there with Junkrat in the back. Do you know? Oh, oh Diva, Diva, Diva. When your McCree is high nooning, always keep take care of him. Like, always keep an eye out on him. Oh my god, low. Somba left side, no translocator. Somba left side, no translocator. Stay grouped, stay grouped on payload. When the enemy team is using Riptar, call out your team to stay grouped. When the Riptar is about to explode, try to use... Ooh, try to use Yogi. If possible, when your team is low, try to shoot your grenades through the shield. So you get increased healing. We're gonna fade left side. Hammond one, Hammond one, one in the back, dead. When Hammond uses mines, always try to jump so you don't get damaged by the mines and see where is the correct position to place your immortality field. The immortality field will take damage from one mine but will not bounce onto the other mine. Oh, they're, all, they're all close. I'm just looking to break the shield. Again, you see that other tip that I gave you the last game? Use your gear around the corner and then place your gold. Even if we did not get a kill right here, we pressure the enemy team to give us like free payload push. Sometimes Baptiste charges his ultimate so fast that he can just use your gold to break a small ch Stay on payload behind. Nice flashbang. <laughs> that was good. Again, same tip. Re use the strip tag right at the end. Tell your team to stay grouped so you have a free mortality field and save your team. Don't place the mortality field too early because if you place it too early, the enemy team can just destroy it. Try to place it as late as possible. They should kill Moira. Everybody's going right side. I should not play the lottery today. Kappa. Kill the Maxi, Maxi left side. I'm going to jump up to not get frozen or hit by Moira. Orisalo. 
Walk in front of me, if possible, to body block one. One right click. And now the intense shot calling starts. Reaper, 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 left side. Reaper, left side of payload. Only Reaper, Reaper, Reaper. Reaper, no shift. Reaper, no shift. Kill the Reaper behind, behind. Front of payload. Reaper, Reaper only. Reaper only. Reaper only. Careful about the guys. Keep the hook for the guys. Keep the hook for the guys. May after. May, may, may. No shift. May, no shift. Kill the May. Kill the May. May, 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 May no shift, focus the May after, focus the May after. Jump after when May starts charging her ultimate. May one, winnable. Reaper, Reaper, Reaper behind, Reaper behind. Reaper after hook. Reaper, 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 Reaper. I need to get back. I got, I'm dead. Unlucky. Even when, like, when fights are like this, they feel like 2CP. Your best bet is to try to call out one target so your team focuses. Over there, you saw that only one person paid attention to it. Only one, only McKee paid attention to it, to cooldowns and so on. Because it's very hard to understand what's happening at this rating. The way you do it is, do it as I did it there, and sometimes people listen, sometimes people don't listen. Usually players are not that experienced of seeing a lot of things on the screen. Me, when I play, when I play King, uh, King of the Hill games, when I play, I don't know, like, Games like PUBG, I don't know what the f what is going around me. You know, because I didn't play the game that much. I'm just looting this to spam the shield. He's going to place another shield. Bake the other shield also. Just so they don't have a shield. Stay behind. Ball low behind, ball low behind. You can rest if you want. Ali McTarity. Come back, come back. C9s will not work, but work the shot. There's no way. See? Second game in which they don't want to leave. Yeah, will. Yep, if you throw it through it. Actually, no. I think, I don't know. Can't remember. Wait, wait it out, wait it out, wait it out. Kill the ball behind? That's a good question. Just for momentum, we have three picks. Break the shield, break the wall. This is so random. I don't think we're gonna push this. Like, no matter who I call right now, the fight is lost. If we don't get a miracle pick. We just need the extra up, extra damage from Junkrat. It's feels so random. Oh, nice. Like, extra, extra random damage, dude. Because no matter how much I call, only Tracer can follow up on the calls. Maze going to come back. Good job. So yeah, that comp specifically, Baptiste does not work that good if you don't have a Zen. And I don't think we had enough time to ask Muxi to swap. And I think uh, Muxi plays only Muxi? I mean locked in Muxi earlier. Oh no, plays Muxi and Anna. Could have asked for a swap. When you feel like nobody is dying, the number one thing you can do is ask for a Zenyatta. And the second thing you can do is ask for stuns. If you feel teams are too tanky, ask for a Zenyatta for Discord or ask for stuns. The third thing is get heroes that offer a lot of damage. Like over here, if you had stuns, Ball would have died. We had flashbang, but Ball is one behind you, Doom. That was close. Let's hold the corner. Ball, 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 low. Grind low. Nice. 
I hug the guy in pin. Probably left side. You see how I'm playing multiple angles? Like, compared to last game, last game I was just staying in behind my... Behind my team. Stay grouped on payload. What? Oh, you got work outside. It was a close grip that I kind of hard for them to come back. Focus the ball. Uh, we can't kill him, we don't have enough damage. You see, like, before... I would just stay on high ground. But right now I'm trying to do more things. Try to jump before Hammond slams so he doesn't cancel your jump. Mines are up, try to jump. It's going to be close to Shatter, I'm going to immortality feel that. Baptiste is very good against me, so you can just jump over. You can jump over the... Gain one, gain one. You can jump over the wall. So Bap is, I would say, better than Ana versus me. Because you can jump over the wall. May no shift on payload. Nice done. They have no Ana. Both still behind. Now I wanna do a YOLO play. Okay, okay. Can we guess that? I don't think we have a guess. Oh, thank you, thank you. I'm sorry, Chad, but I had to do it. Like, the way I'm trying to play is try to somehow imitate how I know some people would play. If it would be after me, I would just be in the spawn non-stop, but I don't think that's the way you're going to learn a lot of things out of it. So this is why I'm trying to play more with my team, do calls, give you tips and so on. Because I think I can just take aim duels and just stay in the spawn and dodge and stuff. So. See, as this duel. Reaper is one left side. They have Shatter. He has Shatter. He did not use Shatter for a long time. They're going to try to Shatter past the shield. Charging this so I can jump over it to dodge. The way I knew he had Shatter is he didn't use Shatter for the last couple of minutes. We can still win. Reaper's gonna ult. Uh, unlucky. Can we diva bomb above the arch and pull on payload? Yeah, yeah let's do that. Wait for Agisa. Uh, let's go for the diva bomb. Let's pull. Go and low, go and low. Reaper one. They don't have any ults. Zara should be 70 on graph maximum probably. She's full charge, has been fully charged for a long time. GG. I'll play Gula next. I love them more. <laughs> Let's play around point, play around point. They need to drop to us. We have the advantage. Soldiers on top, I wanna take the duel. They three people down. Diva was low. I don't think they have a healer. They have Zen solo heal, okay. When Hanzo activates Storm Mago, you can see a small animation. So over there, Hanzo arrow, he had to charge the arrow to kill the Hammond, so I did not use did not need to use my mortality field. If you would have used Storm Arrow and landed everything on his head, he could have killed him and I would have used the mortality field. But that's why I didn't use it. He has rocket jump, rocket rockets with uh with damage boost from Mercy, I wanna risk getting very low and I wanna do that. 5v5. This feels really random. I'm going to keep my ult in case somebody else is going to die. Yeah. Like this. Baby Diva. At the Mega. He's going to jump. Okay, so because we're playing so random, there's no way I can use Baptista's ultimate so my team can benefit from it, right? 
they use deflect, easy duel. Max is high ground, this is on top of me. I can take the duel, I'm sorry I can't talk. I want to debate him. Jump up, I jumped up, I jumped up. Okay, he's left side. Genji low. The game is too intense mechanically for me to say anything, I'm sorry. I will explain after this round. He blades, charge this. I cancel it! No! I cancel the last second. You can dodge the blade after he dashes by jumping. I press crouch again. The main healer is there, they only have Zen heals and it requires them to get two picks instantly. Otherwise, in sustainable in times, in fights in which like you have overtime healing, a lot of increased overtime healing, and the enemy team only has short amounts of healing, such as Zenyata or even Mercy Heal. If you have a Moira and nobody gets any heals, you should be able to win the fight just by out sustaining them with your increased amount of healing. Mox is one. She got killed up though. They have a hawk, so I need to stay outside of hook range, although I used my mortality field around the corner. When you use primary tip, hog on point. Primary tip against hog. You can use your mortality field around corners, but hog can hook you out of it. So always stay outside of hook range. She hit herself once, she should be very low. I didn't hit herself. I need to jump and dodge this. Okay, good. Uh, I think I'm gonna try to kill the fire next fight. We have enough Moira heals. Like I, I can try to be more of a of a flanker this time, just because of the Moira heals on my team. Like Moira is going to be forced to play with them, so I'm just going to play with play over here. Just get this kill. Dragon is going to come after me. I don't need to use anything. Moira will heal up. We're um, we're kind of four v six. Go to point. It's kind of harder to deal now against this thing comp with the Farah Mercy. Oh, thank you. Do what Genji does. Not take the health pack so you can get, get, get like extra healing. Just wait up, wait up, wait up. Now, do this well, come back, come back. Wait it up. Hammond, try to force trans so Zen can blade, okay? So Genji can blade, I mean. Let's find the Zen. Faga's gonna ult also, be careful. Hog left side, kill the hog, kill the hog, kill the hog. Where is Faga? Faga can just destroy this. Oh, he wanted to ult there. Okay. Can you use mines? Here. See how your goal? I never use my ult in these games for uh, for my team. I used it for for myself to, to get some kills. I was not under any threat. I was not under any threat to use my uh, immortality deck. Far on top, I want to get a kill. Down point, but is lost. We have one more fight. Just regroup, regroup. We need, we need to go left side. Left side, inside. Lenti, think for the $5 tip. And Lamaro, think for the prime. Can we help the hog left side?
If I go behind the next spawn. He's dead. Okay, that was a very, very finesse mechanic. Um, I'll tell you nonetheless, that's something to know about. So, the way Faga played, actually, let me, let me tell you after this game and then you vote, okay? That's very, very weird. Hog long, hog long, get a hog. Am I a joke to you? GG. <clears throat> and dogs the tanks, and he looks. So, let, uh, let us see the play of the game and the stats. You saw that this game felt like a, a little bit more random, and I died a lot more, and also I didn't have, didn't have like all, all golds, just because of the randomness of the game. Both for your other healer. So, the finesse thing there is this. Okay, we're going here. So, let me play this. Works, Faga. Okay, good thing. Okay, good. So, as you can see, Faga Marks are poking from here. Hawk gets hooked, I hear the rockets there. I hear the Faga going above, like although I'm here, I'm aware, I get the rocket and right now let me play slow. I still, like when Mega ults, you remember that I looked behind and I was like, wait, Faga's still behind? So I'm going to be aware that Faga's going to be here. Why would Faga do this? Faga just wants to barrage from us when we're just looking at people in front. Faga just wants to use her, use her E and just come to us to barrage. But this is what happens. So, where's my mortality field? Luckily, it discovered by the dragon. This is not intentional. This was just pure luck. It is kind of like covered by the dragon and also Farah wants to uh, kill the Moira that is ulting, which is kind of almost impossible. You need to land two very good dagger hits with damage boost. Farah is still behind, we still have the advantage. Right now, if Farah uses E into us and we're all grouped up here, we're going to die. I'm aware that Farah is behind, so I look at her, right? I try to heal up my Moira. She went back, because like she, she can run faster with her ultimate on than without. So, yeah, I got debated by the movement there. Now, I'm staying here. My team got two picks. I know that, I remember that I checked really fast if they're full HP and they are kind of like full HP. And now I want you to take note of this duel. So, Faga does one rocket on this. I do some damage to her. <clears throat> She's very low HP. I do two perks damages, two bug shots. I have two options when I see Farah. I either run or I take the duel. But when I take the duel, you're going to see this. She's right above me, wants to ult. I'm trying to shoot. And in case I would have missed that shot, I would have jumped up. She would have done the splash damage onto my body. I would have gotten killed, but she would have gotten killed also in case I missed those shots. So that was my intention. Like when you're very low HP and you don't you feel like your aim is not going to go through, you can just use your body to body block for a Farah. This is another example for, let's say, D.Va usage. You don't have defense matrix, no problem. Just fly in, in Farah's face and you can maybe make her kill herself over here. 